Welcome to Science Era. In this video, we're going to discuss determination of acid content of vinegar. This is experiment number 4 from CHE1503 module. Purpose of today's experiment is to determine the number of grams of acetic acid per 100 ml of unknown vinegar sample. We know that the principal acidic constitution in the vinegar is acetic acid. Reagents which we will be using is unknown vinegar sample 0.1 molar of sodium hydroxide solution and phenophthalene indicator solution. This experiment is a six step procedure. So step number one is pipette 25 ml of your unknown vinegar solution into 250 ml volumetric flask and dilute to the mark with deionized water. Shake to mix well. Fill the burette with your standardized sodium hydroxide solution from experiment 3 ensuring that there is no air pocket in the burette tip. Pipette a 25 ml liquid of diluted vinegar solution into each of 3 to 50 ml conical flask. Dilute each liquid with equal volume of deionized water then add 4 to 5 drops of phenophthalene indicator. Titrate with your standardized sodium hydroxide solution. The end point is the first permanent pink color. Then repeat the titration until you obtain the three consistent results. In other words, the individual titration should not differ from the uh, differ by more than 0.1 ml. If you haven't if you haven't watched or done titration before, please watch experiment number two video. In that titration procedure is explained in detail. So after you finish these six steps in the lab, your lab report should look like this. They can ask you for the brand name of the vinegar, which can be any other um, brand name. In this case, I have used Vinson Spirit Vinegar. Concentration of acidic acid in the vinegar according to the label. So the bottle of your vinegar will show you whatever the concentration is. For example, 5% weighed by volume acetic acid. Then data concerning the diluted vinegar. Volume of vinegar used to prepare solution. It can be whatever volume you used. I used 25 ml. Volume of diluted vinegar. Again, whatever volume you use, you must write it here. In this example, I will be using 250 ml. Titration data, volume of diluted vinegar used in titration, again it is 25 ml. Then they can ask you to, um, uh, they can give you a table like this where you record the burette reading, rough titration, accurate titration and then find the average volume of the aqueous sodium hydrogen added. So this will be average of the volume added from the accurate titration value 1 plus value 2 and value C divided by 3 because you, ha uh, you have repeated this experiment three times. Next question is reaction equation for the titration. This in this case is CH3COOH plus NaOH will give you CH3 CWNA plus H2O. This is the reaction. These are the two reactant we are using to find the determ uh, to determine or find the acid content of the vinegar. Next is the calculation questions. From the titration result, calculate the number of moles of NaOH required to neutralize the acetic acid in 25 ml of the vinegar. So this can be done by using the moles from your um, stock solution times by the average you calculated while doing the experiment and times it by 1 liter over 1000 ml which will give you your um, uh, number of moles of NaOH. Then calculate the number of moles of acetic acid in 25 ml of diluted vinegar used in the titration. 
this can be calculated by using this formula which is number of moles times one mole of acetic acid divided by one mole of NaOH will which will give you the number of moles of acetic acid in 25 ml of the solution we know that the mole factor is 1 is to 1 which means that one mole of acetic acid um, completely used up when reacted with sodium hydroxide so you can calculate the number of moles of acetic acid using the formula next is find molarity of acetic acid in diluted vinegar again number of moles of acetic acid times 1 over 25 ml and times 1000 ml over the uh, per liter will give you the number of uh, molarity of acidic acid in diluted vinegar what is the dilution factor used in preparing the diluted vinegar from original vinegar we use 25 ml in 250 ml therefore the dilution factor is 10 calculate the molarity of acetic acid in original vinegar we know the dilution factor is 1 is to 10 so we'll time the molarity of acidic acid which we calculated in part c by 10 to get the molarity of the original vinegar next is express concentration of acidic acid in the vinegar you can use these formula concentration in gram per liter will be molarity times mass when calculating um gram per 100 ml you're going to divide it uh, by 10 and then they ask you what therefore is the weight by volume percentage of acetic acid in the vinegar this can be calculated by timing the concentration in gram per milliliter times it by 100 which will give you the weight by volume percentage of acetic acid this bring us to the end of experiment 4 which is determination of acid content of vinegar thank you for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe for more